We get our information in many different ways these days, and much of it is online. So here to keep us up to date on what's trending on our website is our digital content producer, Chloe Convoy. Welcome, Chloe. Thank you guys so much for having me. It's always oh, a fun time on The View. I love you are it. the one person in the world I can say, what's trending at this very <laughs> second? Yes. And you know exactly. Yes, I definitely know exactly. We track it 24-7 um, at ABC7. So what the top story is right now is we have a Sarasota resident that actually collected almost hundreds of donations for Hurricane Michael victims. He originally planned to just fill up a small trailer and then his Facebook posts asking for donations went completely viral on social media and he just had this outpour of love from the Suncoast community and so many people just showed up and he actually had to buy a huge U-Haul truck to rent for the day to drive down to Panama City oh, to wow. kind of give all the donations out. So it's such a sweet story and everybody on our Facebook viewers, they absolutely loved it. So it was great. And it's Facebook a feel good story too, yes. which is so nice because a lot of the things obviously that trend a lot of times are so negative. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's nice to see that someone doing something nice is getting attention. Now I sit right next to Chloe, I have to admit in the <laughs> newsroom, I heard you say something about alligator. Yes, so um, a few days ago, I think it was last weekend, there was a huge 16 foot alligator strolling across a golf course that one of our viewers captured on his phone. So he was spending the day golfing on Saturday and he was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> and I mean, I don't know what I would do if I saw that, but I definitely would not be filming it and I would be sprinting as far away as I could. <laughs> I mean, I would not want to film that. Wow. Um, but that is just crazy that that's right in our backyard in Palmetto on a golf course. I mean, wow. that's, oh that's pretty God. terrifying. I gotta yeah. ask you, Chloe, because we have seen, it seems like in the last six months or so, we've seen more stories like this of animals mm -hmm. coming mm -hmm. out, big animals, gators, crocodiles. Is it, do you think that the animals are coming out more or are we, j you and your team just getting better at, at getting in touch with people that have video? I just think with this, everyone's age and technology right now and there's so many younger people with all these smartphones that everyone has their phone on them these days. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it's that we're seeing more animals. I just think everyone's gonna be on their phones more and they're sending us the videos quickly, so. I was just about to say, where do you get these videos? Where do you get these stories? So we just find them all over Facebook. I mean, one of my jobs here is kind of finding fresh content and finding you know those viral videos that I think are gonna perform well. So um, just kind of searching the internet and looking at Facebook and then also we get emails and calls from our viewers so it's a great thing no it's, it's like almost it's not citizen journalism but in a way it's just kind yes. of like we you have ambassadors everywhere who yes. if they see something cool it, you can you can put it into a story exactly yeah and my, we just have to thank the viewers because without them they just send us so such cool content all the time and especially like this alligator video that they allow us to give us permission to use that on air and on all of our digital platforms. So it's amazing. Yeah. And it's amazing to all of us. We're all sitting here with our mouths wide open <laughs> yes. when that thing walks across there. I'm just yes. glad it's on a screen and not yeah. as close yes. in real life. We're not wanting to the take studio. my phone so I can send you lots of pictures <laughs> yes. too. Yes. Ringling Post it. Office. Now that was a big one. Yes. So mm. this past weekend, um, me and the photographer, Sammy Chido here, we actually were going, leaving the Sean Martin interview and we were driving by the post office and we see that, saw that it was all roped off. There were two suspicious packages left according to the Sarasota Police Department. We Facebook Live for probably about an hour and we had almost 1,300 Facebook comments. Wow. And what's funny wow. because the Facebook comments weren't really about the incident. They were kind of all just saying like being supportive, saying Sammy and Chloe, be safe, be safe. Mm. No post office is worth your safety, which was so touching because Within the hour on the Facebook Live, it's like we created this bond with mm -hmm. our viewers and it was just amazing because I was able to engage with them back and forth and be like, no, Cindy, this is what's happening or this is what the police say. And we did a live interview with the Sarasota Police Department, PIO. So it was just so cool that they got to see behind the scenes of exactly what was happening and as the news was developing in real time. Well, it's so cool that somebody's paying attention to their comments. Sometimes mm -hmm. when I comment on Facebook, I wonder if anybody ever reads this. Yeah, they do yeah. here, Chloe yes, does. Yes, we definitely keep a close eye on everybody's comments when they comment on our Facebook page. That's one of my main jobs is kind of engaging with the viewers and replying to them if they have questions. So we wanna share with you a really, really sweet comment that one of the viewers said. Um, they said, I get much better news from this page than I do from anywhere else, great job. And seeing that just makes it, that just makes my, makes my day because it's when we're on our Facebook page and stuff, we really are doing it to help the viewers and get the information out there mm -hmm. and just help somebody during their day. So it just means a lot that 
people care and that people are appreciative. It's like and a modern equivalent of, of manning the phone lines, really, because mm -hmm. people are getting information to you, and even, you know, back in the day it would have been on the phone, but now it's mm -hmm. more through comments, but that can make or break a lot of stories. You can mm -hmm. get a tip from a viewer that, you know, we can't have crews everywhere, even mm -hmm. if we tried, mm -hmm. so that it's, it's really nice that the community is, is giving back and you're giving back to them. Yes. And, and I've heard people complain that I don't watch the news because it's all bad news, it's only bad news, but you have more good news than bad news, don't you? Yes, definitely. I feel like lately um, we've just been having such great feel-good stories and I think after Hurricane Michael it's really just all the heartwarming stories really coming out and it's really showing that everyone in this community really does care and they really want to help everyone. I'm going to send you an email. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see me on Facebook. Okay. okay. Thanks for all your hard work, Chloe. We really do appreciate Thank it. You. It helps Thank all you. of us. And remember, if you miss a day of our show, you can always see all of our segments online. Go to our website, suncoastview.com.